Let's jump in. In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Ra Oh. I'll tell you what, boys. Turn that down a little bit. I'll tell you what. The N64 does not do compressed FMV sequences. Sorry, FMV sequences that well, just to let you know. I think the blood change is pretty cool, Desire. But what I do prefer, and what I do think is the best... Uh, sorry, what's we'll save state on here? Draft fire. What I do think is... Uh, what N64 does the best is the randomizer feature. I thought that was absolutely unique. And the fact that it hasn't made its way into any other platform is absolutely insane. Right, let's just get past these dudes. There we go. And obviously you've got the first person controls. And if you haven't played the N64 version of Resident Evil 2, um, I'll explain it. I'll explain it a little bit. It's uh, it's it's pretty weird. Anime nutcase, you're thinking of the um, EX files. So, it's my switch pad. Crash Bandicoot switch pad. Who knew? Um, this is what I used to play on my games. But basically, everybody's familiar with the tank controls. Not everybody liked them on Resident Evil 2. But Resident Evil 2 N64 come with a feature where you could move on the spot no more tank controls no more moving like a tank is free flowing i'll tell you what it really makes a difference really really makes a difference so you can dodge enemies like anything it's absolutely unreal and definitely for that that reason alone is a reason to buy or to at least try the n64 version of resident evil 2 i think that's an absolute unreal feature to have um, EX Files, yeah, that's the um, the hint she was talking about. It references Resident Evil Zero as well, and it just kind of fills in the gaps, which is always pretty nice. Just got to get around this dude, and he's walking right in the fucking middle, which is always annoying. But it's all right, we got it, we got there, we got there. I must admit, boys, I did always prefer the Scenario B to Scenario A. I always thought Scenario A was a bit shit. Because and scenario B was just awesome. You know, you had William who was in his who was fucking amazing, absolutely amazing in in scenario B compared to his scenario A scenario A counterpart. I thought he was just unreal. Um, fuck, we know what we got to do on here. So first thing we've got to do is get the old valve handle and try not to get killed by these crows. And no doubt I will get bit. Oh no, no, we made it. We made it just skin of our teeth. I found scenario B with Claire tough. I find yeah. I, I, I must admit. I must admit. Anime nutcase. Um, scenario B is just. Uh, you can indeed desire. I can't remember the combination. I think it's similar to the PC version. You know, up, up, down, up, down. Fuck! I can't remember it. <laughs> I think it's up, down, up, down. Or is it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, aim? I think that's what it is. I think it's the same as the PC version. Turn that a little bit up. It's a bit, a bit quiet. There we go. Right. So let's rob him. Yeah, we're doing all right for ammo so far. But I do find that Claire is kind of like Resident Evil 1, where Claire was the hard... Sorry, um... Jill was the easy mode and Chris was the hard mode. It's, it's carried over a little bit to this because I find Claire totally harder than Leon. I thought Leon was absolutely overpowered. Even if you play hard mode on the PC version, he's absolutely insanely fucking overpowered. That custom magnum is just something else. You kill the, kill the main boss. I mean, no game you should be able to kill the main boss in like five shots. It's just wrong. Excuse me. Right. Yeah, I mean the GameCube version desire is pretty much a carbon copy of the PS1 DualShock version, except it's got super upgraded graphics, and I'm very I was very, very impressed with the GameCube port, I must admit. But at the end of the day, it's not. It's not the N64 port. The N64 port is just 
I don't know. It doesn't have EX battle mode, which is a bit, it's a bit going. It's a bit going that it doesn't have extreme, but, oh, fucking hell, acid rounds. I've got any space. Yeah, it's a bit going that it doesn't have extreme battle, but obviously it's a 64 meg cartridge. You know, they, they absolutely killed it with this port. I mean, look at the state of this, mate. Absolutely horrific. Definitely not designed. But the, uh, I'd say the character models, the door models, everything like that is untouched. Fine. Right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh. Right, so we can hear Mr. X walk in. We, we are going to take him out. Ah oh, man. I've been playing too much Resident Evil 3 where combine is second instead of third. It's so annoying. Come on, big boy. Oh. <laughs> I love it when he does that, it's so funny. Right. Yeah, where is his fedora? Man, that fedora from the from the remake is fucking amazing. Whoever whoever thought the idea of giving a fedora is just winning the internet right now. Man, just, I'll tell you what, I take Mr. X over the Nemesis all day, every day. The Nemesis is just a fucking joke, man. I, I do need to go into the, uh... oh man, this is, <gasps> man, that remix at the, uh, at the start of this stream was just unreal. Um, right, so we're doing a lot for handgun bullets, I'm, I'm moderately impressed. Did I get a rocket launcher? Yeah, I do. I'm not going to use it, obviously, but... I'm not going to use that for a little while. I'm not going to use that. We do need to go fetch the stars card. Slowly walk past the liquor. Um, there are acid rounds on that. That is such... Such a stock sound, man. Right, I think there's some bits over here we can get if I'm not... Oh, maybe, oh it's Leon, isn't it? Whoops! Right, so let's grab this. I thought this was cool. This, the first time I played Scenario B, I was like, whoa! Obviously now not, but, you know, the first time I played it, I was like, whoa, this is insane. I'll tell you what. I'd still take Mr. At least Mr. X, Mr. X only punches. I find the nemesis. He'll he'll make it sound like he's going to grab you, and he fucking punches you and puts you on danger. You're like, oh, do you know what, mate? I really ain't got time for you right now. Like, <laughs> just get on the face. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Ah, mate. How the hell Resident Evil didn't have a Wilhelm scream? I'll never know. Good to hear from you, Cooper, with a camera. Mean Mark Cooper has entered the stream. Oh fuck, there we go. He did. Oh, he just wanted Jill's, Jill's affection. I'm hoping he's still out here, little bastard. Because I'm just going to ruin him. Where is he? I'm going to blow his head off. Yeah, he's down here. I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, immediately. I'll let him, I'll let him bite me just so I don't have to... Oh, kicks his head off. Brutal. Right, we'll nick that.
Yeah, man. Brad died ridiculously easy just then. So, just to let you know, obviously, if you... If anyone's not familiar with what I've just in, done there, basically, if you get on the first scenario, if you get all the way to the police station without picking anything up, you uh, you have to kill Brad the super zombie with just a pistol as well, which is a bit bit off. Um, yeah, you got to kill him with a pistol, and he gives you a uh, a special key which you can use to get different costumes and a different gun, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I didn't actually know this until about four or five years ago, so well after I um, started playing Resident Evil 2, that actually, if you did it in the first scenario, he's in the second scenario. Who knew? These are ruthless. Fucking hell. Yeah, man. Oh, damn it. Oh, his head bounced off the railing. Yeah, man. You, you just don't get like this. If if it, if Capcom re-release... I say if Capcom re-release Resident Evil 2. Uh, of course they're re-releasing Resident Evil 2. But if Capcom brought Resident Evil 2 out now, not the remake, like a brand new game, um, I guarantee you Brad would be behind some sort of mad paywall. It'd be like, oh, you want to kill Brad? Well, you've got to pay two ninety nine to unlock the loot box key. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't even be a key. It'd be a fucking loot box, is what it'd be. Oh, you're not wrong there, anime nutcase. I'll tell you what, that fucking, that nemesis where Brad gets killed, the first time I saw that, I was about four, four, uh, three or four years old, and it just, it's given me nightmares ever since. It was absolutely insane. Right. Right, so we've got the precinct key. It's pretty useless, to be fair. I think it only gives you a... Uh, what does it give you? It doesn't give you a crank like it does in Scenario A. There's a fucking zombie in the, in the item room. What the fuck's that about? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm, I'm pissing myself off. There we go. I wanted to do that. I don't need this anymore. Problem is, there's fucking one dude over here, man. I didn't want to shoot him, but all I own. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to box myself in. Oh, fucking hell, that's close. I'd say penis chest penetration, personally. And do you know what I've, I've just remembered? I didn't do the cord in scenario A, so all this is going to be full. Thanks, Leon. Dick. Actually, let me just quickly check in here. I think it's just a crank, but I could be wrong. Uh, sorry, not the crank. I meant the, f I meant the first ace spray. That's a fucking lighter. Shit. There's a good thing I did go in here. I think this scenario A is a lighter, obviously. Because Leon's already got it. Do you think they should make a Resident Evil game focusing on each stars member that died? Like explaining their deaths. Well, a lot of them died in Resident Evil 1. And that was kind of explained in Umbrella Chronicles. Uh, the, the light gun game. But yeah, it'd be kind of cool. The lighter of lighters, of course. Only the lighter of lighters are acceptable. See, this scene annoys me. Because in Scenario A, they just at least put their hands through. But in this, I actually fucking jump through, mad bastards. Right. Uh, I think there's some ammo in here. I can't remember if there is. If 
No, it's in the back, isn't it? Uh, if it's not there. I can never remember if it's Leon or fucking Claire. I think it's... Oh, mate. Bruce McGiven. What a fucking lad he was. Absolute unsung hero of Resident Evil years, mate. Hey, hanging out, nice. I shouldn't have reloaded, should I? Because I'm getting the cult SAA soon. Mate, Bruce McGiven. I still think... Hang on, I'm not coming back to this hallway, so I'm not even going to kill him. I still think Dead Aim is totally, totally uh, underrated. Oh, nice and quiet. Like, Dead Aim is just something else. Like, and what's good, and what people forget, is you can use a PS... You can use a standard USB mouse to, for the gun con, and it just turned the game from, like, terrible to awesome. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put health below it. I'm going to put guns above it. Oh, yeah, we can use our... Here we go, boys. Look at that. I'll tell you what. If you guys have played the original Resident Evil 2, you're going to know you get that weird flames one. That, that, boys, is ten times better Totally worth owning the uh, the N64 version of Resident Evil 4 to own this sick purple costume. Look at this. Oh, I forgot to pick up the Cult SA as well. Look at that. I'll tell you what, mate. Ain't bad, is it? Ain't bad. I think it's so much better than the fire one. Oh, you meant Bruce McGiven. <laughs> yeah, Bruce McGiven. If you didn't play... Again, I've pretty much played all the Resident Evils now. I think the only one I really haven't completed is Revelations 2. But I'm playing on my channel anyway, so I'll get it completed at some point. Um, but Bruce McGiven was the um, main character of Resident Evil Dead Aim. Uh, or it was called Biohazard Gun Survivor Heroes Never Die. Man, he was called Heroes Never Die. That's a reason why he's a hero. But yeah, he was just, he was unreal. Really, I'll tell you what, anime in that case, if you get, if you've got a PS2... PlayStation 2, get Resident Evil Dead Aim, you'll not be disappointed. It was a brilliant game, absolutely brilliant game. Ah, oh, Outbreak was unreal. And again, it's another money pot. I mean, Capcom have been, have been like, sleeping on this Resident Evil 2 port for fucking ages. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Ah. Oh. Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't in Mar it wasn't Marvel vs. Capcom, it was the other one. Capcom vs. Street Fighter vs. something. It wasn't Marvel vs. Capcom. It was one of them other, like, crossover, ambitious... <laughs> ambitious crossovers. Um, but yeah, uh, the Capcom are sitting on a money pot with Resident Evil Outbreak. If they just port that to PlayStation Network and Xbox Live, I'll tell you what, they've got an instant hit. It's a... Fa it's a... It's a... It's a proper core Resident Evil game at heart. It's not It's not like Resident Evil 5 where it was all action. Proper, proper Resident Evil game, Resident Evil Outbreak. Leo. Look at us in our bonus outfits. Looking like G's. It's good to see you're still among the living. We look like fucking extras from like Judge Dredd or it something. Looks like we're <laughs> not gonna find your brother here. Yeah, fuck Chris's diary. I've read it like a thousand There's times. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Yeah, buddy. Right. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Fucking hell, she that picked that all up with one hand. Anything happens. All right. 
I don't think I've ever used a bow gun ever. I always pick it up. I don't know why. I'll tell you what, boys. We'll use it for the fun of this playthrough. Uh, right. No. It's Rebecca's desk. I'm sure there was hangar bullets over here, wasn't there? Ah, it's probably Leon's campaign again. She does. She was like, and then like picked up everything. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna fuck this, fuck this zombie up with a crossbow. Help me! Come in, come in, come in. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This game hates me. Oh, no way. No way. I've got three left as well. That fucking ruined everyone. Caffeinated junkie. Bloody hell, you've managed to catch me at a decent time. How you doing, my friend? You well? There we go. So they're all ruined. I hope we get some decent shit up here. Uh, what? Christ. Have you seen the Hacks Resi 2 demo which she lets you see early... No, I haven't actually, Anime Nutcase. I'll have to check that out. Fucking pistol bullets. Time to piss this game. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. I didn't want that to happen. I completely forgot about the cord in the previous playthrough. I don't know, Desire, that's debatable about Sherry Birkin. I'd say she's still pretty fucking useless. Oh, both of them. <laughs> useless. Um, yeah, I am indeed using Project 64. Um, it's come a bloody long way, Project 64, from uh, the way it used to uh, emulate Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil 2. I mean, it used to be dog shit, but they've got like this thing called Glide 64, which is like some mad, mad rapper, which puts everything into perspective now. It's, it's good though, it just runs everything. I mean, the only thing it does do, admittedly, Caffeinated Junkie, is it freezes, just for no reason. So you have to save state it, so, you know, I don't have to go back to the beginning. Hey, Saleo, how's it going, my friend? How is it going? I hope you're well. It's been a while since we spoke. Trust you're keeping well, my friend. Oh, for fuck's sake, his camera angles keep pissing me off. There you go. Twitch is showing you're playing RE3. Oh, bollocks. Two seconds. I know, I knew I'd forget something. Enjoy, enjoy my screen. Uh, I think I could change it from my phone. I really don't want to tab out on my computer. Channels. Um, can I change it on here? I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. Thank you for that, Saleo. That has been updated. Oh, does it sound on YouTube as well? Guys, you're busting my balls. I'm going to have to go on my computer and I. Two secs. Uh, I hope the game don't freeze. Ah, oh, man, I better jinx myself. Uh, titles. Oh no, I have to actually go onto YouTube, don't I? Ah, yeah, it's Resident Evil 3. Nice one, boys. Well, it should be all good now. Let's get that back on. Right. Right, so we're doing alright for pistol ammo. I am slightly mindful, though, boys. I haven't found the, uh, the precinct key yet, which I'd normally find now, and I can't remember where it is off the top of my head. I've just heard that some character named Piers was popular and didn't deserve to die. Who? What? Nah, Piers. Uh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Six is a dead game. It's absolutely they. Capcom tried to please everyone with the port, and it just yeah, it didn't work. It was horrific. It's like they was like, oh well, people, you know, people like Call of Duty, people like Gears of War, but people also like Resident Evil. So let's make a game that accommodates everything. It's a fucking long old game as well. 
I mean, each campaign's about 12 hours long, so you got you get your money's worth. Yeah, man. Leon's... Leon's... Campaign was retarded. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, uh, when I put the keys in, the keys, when I put the jewels in, it gives me the precinct key, because I'm a bit lost on where it is, I think that's where it is, I'm banking on it, this fucking bastard here mate, ah, oh, I've disturbed him, Oh mate, get her, get get fucking wrecked! Oh fuck off! Fuck off! Oh mate, he's ruining me. There we go, finished him. So one thing about this gun, it's just it's only got six bullets, and that really puts you up shit creek sometimes. All right, let's do that one. There's a shark in Leon's campaign. Oh, do you know what? I, I, I must admit, I... Oh, shit. Hmm. I really can't remember where this key is now. Uh, that's annoying. I'm just going from ahead at rooms I've been in. Uh... Oh, shit. I think I know where it is. I think it's um, it's on the fucking table. It's on the table in the stars office. I think I forgot to pick it up. I'm just not thinking. Uh, Leon, Leon outswam a zombie shark. Oh my god, that's such a Resident Evil thing to do. It's been so long since I played Resident Evil 6. I played it with my brother. I played Leon's campaign and was like, man, this boss is really longing it out. That weird T-Rex thing. I didn't complete Chris's and I didn't complete um, Piers. Uh, Chris's. Sorry. Uh, the other guy, Jake. I didn't complete his one either. Really should have done. It gets killed via QTEs. I couldn't think of anything worse. That is tragic. And that's why, I mean, everyone gave Resident Evil 7 shit. It was like, oh, it's outlast on steroids. But I'll tell you what, it's better than Resident Evil 6 in terms of, you know, lore and... In, in Resident Evil lore and stuff like that. I'm sure it's in here. If not, I'm a bit perplexed where it could be. I'm not normally as bad at Resident Evil 2. What's going on with me? I'm fucking... Ah, oh, it's there, boys. It's there. Should have got that in the fucking first place. Idiot. Um, what is worse, though? RE5 or RE6? RE... RE6. RE6, 100%. Resident Evil 5. I actually found a really good game, and I make this case every time I play Resident Evil. Uh, every time I talk about Resident Evil 5, that if Resident Evil 5 was such a good game, but it was marred by the fact it was a Resident Evil game. If if it was called Alone in Africa and change change the name to like Herbert and and Jill, and I would say Jill Herbert and Mandy, for example, uh, in Africa, it'd be like Game of the Year. But because it had Resident Evil tacked onto it, it lost every. Mm. Hang on a minute, lads. How is that fair? This was this hallway was empty, and I've come down and there's like six thousand zombies. Fuck's sake! I didn't even realise. <laughs> Fucking whoa! Do you see a big old arms, mate? This is not good. Fuck off, mate. I've never seen this before. Oh, ruined. Yeah, six is definitely worse than five. It had that weird thing with the herbs as well, where it like turned it into tablets. I didn't like that either. I didn't actually like Resident Evil Six a great deal, to be honest. Right, put that in there. Oh shit, I wanted to get herb. I didn't want to finish five, it bored me and I kept fucking dying. 
I didn't feel the need to complete the whole game because it didn't interest me. Well, that's a fair point. I mean, someone's done a comparison of RE4 and RE5, the, and <laughs> the amount of stuff that RE5 stole off RE, RE, RE4 was absolutely unreal. I want to see Resident Evil Gun Survivor redone with the new engine. I don't. I thought Gun Survivor was horrific, but it's still a Resident Evil game. And it had very, very good assets that they used from Resident Evil 2. And it was 3D, so that's something. Yeah, buddy. Crossbow bolts, we'll take them. Overdoses on Tic Tacs. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. Both games are decent if you actually play online with someone you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got a whole playthrough on my channel with me and my brother playing it, and it's fucking horrific. Which instant kill monster annoys you the most? What a fucking question, Desire, mate. That's a really good question. Um, Nemesis. Oh, fuck, I'm running into a wall, sorry. The question was so good, it, it sidetracked me. Hundred percent Resident Evil Resident Evil 3 with the Nemesis. That shit was just cheap. See RE RE5 Reapers are pretty fun actually because they open themselves up to be shot, so it wasn't too bad. I don't really want to waste my ammo on these chumps, to be fair. Oh, you know what, mate? Fuck off. Yeah, at least I've got some ammo. Only 15, though. Oh, shit. Fuck the Reapers. Can take you from an amazing mercenaries run to dead as shit in point zero zero seven seconds. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. I, I found chainsaw guys more annoying. I don't know. I just I ne I've never had a problem with reapers. I've always I've always hit them on their sweet spot. Yeah, I liked mercenaries 3D. It was a nice little spin-off game. I really hope they port it to Switch actually, so we can enjoy it again. Um, I'm gonna quickly drag the crossbow out so I can. Just get through this section here. Again, Garador, if you walk, it's kind of like the liquor. The liquor's very easy to me now because all we've got to do is walk and he's fine. He, he ties himself up in knots. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stay at this, mate. Oh fuck, I didn't even press shoot. Pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I can't actually see. Oh fuck me, everyone's dead. Everyone's actually dead. That's nice. Favourite BOW in RE2. That isn't. Oh mate, Desire. You're out here asking the real questions. Um, that isn't William or Mr. X. Um, Sherry? <laughs> Sherry's a B.O.W., right? She gets, like, infected. Um, no, on a serious note. There's not really anyone else, is there? I didn't think there was any other enemies. I like the crocodile because he dies in one hit. That's quite, that's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there, anime in that case. Hey, we can throw that key away. Eh, liquor's alright. Just gets on your fucking nerves. Right, so we got that. We got the last stone. We just need to get the other half of the stone now. But we're going to go to the underground anyway, so it's not a problem. I'm hoping I can get this whole game done in a single segment. I mean, there's been a few nights where I've had to... It's kind of got a bit late, I get a bit tired. And um, 
yeah, I just end up overrunning, so I end up, you know, wrapping it up the night after, but I think I started this at a good time, so I should be able to finish it in good time. Hey, pistol bullets. That's exactly what I was after. Oh, mate, what was this? This wasn't uh, 2236, I don't think. It's N64. No, it's like 3548 or something. That's not 48. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't remember it. Two seconds, boys. Uh, it's only, For some reason, this is only different on the N64 port. I, I did this before. It's safe code N64. 4542 is the code. RE3 was the first ne uh, first mercenaries, but I like RE4 mercenaries more. RE3 was hard for me. I felt like more like EX battle in one go. Um, I actually didn't want, didn't want to take that. Um, I actually preferred the, uh, whoa, let's get past this dude, yeah, we got it. I, the, my favourite mercenaries is RE5 by far, I think it had the best mercenary mode. Um, my worst, it'd have to be RE3, I'd say, it's so fucking hard, man. Like, especially at Nikolai, it's no joke. That gives you like 15 mercs, 15 mercs handgun bullets, like, what the fuck are you going to do with that? Oh, you bastard. I oh, just want to quickly go back and get them acid rounds. I don't know how acid rounds survived that helicopter crash, but Resident Evil logic far surpasses my intellect. And all the crows are gone. Oh, fuck. Ha! <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. They're gone forever. That's alright. That's not a problem. Right, let's blow this up. Nice. Get that done. There's people shouting outside my house, it's pissing me off. They keep saying the same thing. They keep going, whoo, and it's not really annoying. It's so loud. We're going to have to shut that door in a minute if they carry on. Hey, Brian Irons. What a weird character. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> yeah, man. Ari Free Mercenaries was the real deal. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. <sighs> That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain... Uh, that, I'm not sure. Oh, is he? He might be. Her completely. Marvin's in it as well. And just to think, taxidermy used to be my hobby. The taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no I'm longer. Alone. Such a weirdo. I'd really like to be alone now. Also, I think his death scene in Scenario B is ten times better and more satisfying than the death from Scenario A. Like, Scenario A was just him getting, like... Just him, him getting like eaten from the inside and that weevil thing popping out. But the, this one, he gets fucking chewed up by uh, 
and gets chewed up by a uh, Birkin and a pole. What's he doing? And we oh for fuck I can't get this door. Got it. Wait. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. <sighs> the chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too, too dangerous, dangerous to, to go stay and home. stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right, but it's dangerous here. Haha, <laughs> Claire gets catcher predated. But there's something out there. Why don't you just go have I a seat right over there? Is, but I saw it, much larger than any of those zombies, and it's coming after me. What was that? That's Chris That's Hansen what right I was now. I'm telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Claire's had pretty much the same voice actor in. To Sorry about that. Claire's had the same voice actor for like her entire tenure, um, but for some reason, Alison Court, who plays Claire, is not in the new Resident Evil, and I thought that was an absolute. <laughs> That's so bad, isn't it? Think like you've been Claire since her absolute inception. Played all the voice acting in all the all the movies, all the games, and yeah, ended up ended up palming her off. So bad. Right, I got the heart key. That's good. Uh, that way, Claire. Yeah, she really wanted to be in it. Was she not in Re Revelations 2? Uh, right, we're good for health. Pop that in there, pop the stone in there. Just need one more of them stones. Then yeah, we should be on our way. Uh, actually, I'll take a bow gun because an area I just want to clear. I'm very happy, guys. Um, normally I get this spurious one or two people, but it seems like we st the numbers are starting to creep up now. We're getting some viewers on Twitch via Saleo. Um, I'm, we're at six six concurrent viewers at the moment, which is fantastic. Just if you're if you're watching the video and you haven't get get got involved in the chat, obviously I I've got the chat right here. I read off it all the time. So any questions you want to ask about Resident Evil or any bit of discussion you want to bring up, sure, man. Just put it in the chat and we'll shoot the shit. I can execute it. Yeah, man. Although, I would say, Barry kind of acted like, what's his name out of um, Last of Us? Re like, it really had that Last of Us vibe. Nice, killed him. I think it's a few guys here, so. Hey, Bang Twang! 1802, how you doing, my friend? Ruined. Ruined them.
I think that may be the single greatest name I've ever seen in my life. Bang Twang. Ah, no zombies. No nothing. That's what we like. The th uh, that's annoying. I think Barry should have been the main character in RE7 instead of Ethan. Hmm. I like the fact that they brought in Ethan. Because I think Resident Evil needed a fresh injection of different characters. I thought it was good. Because uh, there's no way anybody else could have fit in that. I mean, it couldn't have been Chris. Because he's, he's built up as like this unstoppable character. Whereas Ethan, he was, you know, pretty vulnerable in some circumstances. It was very, very good. Very, very good. Right, uh, no, we don't need that. And obviously, I had Chris at the end, so that kind of, <laughs> that kind of <laughs> pulls Chris out of being in the game. Uh, in that, in that regard, oh, fucking hell! Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh shit. Oh, f oh I accidentally hit the guy behind him. Sorry, mate. Caught this guy right in the face. Sorry, dude. Ho ho ho! Carlos is pretty good. We, we haven't really seen him since RE3. And the same with uh, Billy. Oh, Billy Cohen. Right, so I've, got, I've actually got loads of fully healing items now, which is good. I want Billy back. Yeah, I'll, I want Billy back as well. He was awesome. He was an awesome character. Resident Evil Zero, again, another game I need to be playing on this channel. I just, I'm just hyping over Resident Evil 2 and I'm just really enjoying it. I really want to get all these scenarios completed so I can play the, the old randomizer feature. Get some caffeine, what I miss. Jerry. That is not well, like you, caffeinated be. junkie, to run and get some caffeine. Uh, I haven't yet, Desire. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will I need to check that out. Us. Let's go. Could be a plot device for REA. No, I won't. Maybe. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? Hey, I appreciate that, caffeinated junkie. I might be in touch. It's I need some stuff I need done. Claire. It's because of my daddy. Uh, obviously, He's I've got this there. set up, but I, 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 I want it a bit more personalised, you know? But yeah, I'll hit you up if daddy I need anything. I really appreciate that. Monsters. I have to help him. What's your favourite... Um, obviously, you're a big fan of caffeine, caffeinated junkie. Jerry. Jerry. What is your favourite... What is your favourite energy drink? What are you... What are you living... What are you living for at the moment? Right, I fucking hate playing this sherry sh pile of shit. I, I'm, I literally have a. Uh... Thank you, anime. In that case, really appreciate that, my friend. I must admit, I'm really. I wake up in the morning. And um, my favourite energy drink, and Mark, uh, me and Mark Cooper with a camera in the chat of Altria, I love a, I love a good mo green monster. Green monster for me. Like I've tried, I've tried going on other flavours, and I've tried Relentless, and I've tried everything else, but green monsters just keeps bringing me back. It's just so nice. It's got that, especially when you first open it, that initial taste is just amazing. I don't think nothing touched it. It's the only drink I know that doesn't spoil. Like, I don't know if you have this. Like, I find if I have a can of Coke or something, 
and uh, I'll be busy, I'll be working or whatever, and I'll come back to it, it can be a little bit flat, whereas Monster, even though it's flat, it doesn't taste like shit like the other drinks. But I could go back to it, like, let's say um, I'm at work, I could start drinking it at half eight, maybe, in the morning, and go back to it at 12, or one in the afternoon, it's still fine. See, Blue Monsters are white, but it's the whole zero calorie thing, and I can really taste the difference. Is it zero calorie or zero sugar? One of the two. But I can really taste the difference. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm in that sort of loop now, animated in that case where it where I kind of I, I enjoy it, and I probably need to cut back a little bit because it just greasy foods. Monster helps me helps with really greasy foods like Chinese too. The only thing I find with Monster is it gives me the fucking shits, man. It makes my ass really hurt. <laughs> But yeah, Monster Monster Green is just nothing beats the original. I'm yet to try a Monster Ultra. Is it, what does it taste like? And obviously, as well, if you're from the UK, um, you got hit with the uh, they call it the sugar tax, where every all the drinks with high sh sugar content they basically just fucking tax the shit out of it. So it's really expensive. Um, so all the green monsters have gone up in price, but all the low calorie ones and uh, no sugar ones are fine. Red monster is the only drink that makes me feel like I'm about to have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Where? Are you there? Mate, you need it in Sherry, here. You need it in here. Okay? <laughs> Caffeine straight in. <laughs> Desire, if you had to, sorry, I've just, another. it's just gone up, but I'm sure the question said, if you've got, Thank if you, you uh, I'll wait now, for this scene to finish. Over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire, I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore, but don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself. Wait, Jerry, come back. Sherry! Sherry! Sorry, I lost Desire's question up there. It was about a partner. Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm right. just waiting for this cutscene to finish so I can answer Desire's question. There we go. Right. So, uh, yeah, Desire said something about partners in Resident Evil. I still, uh, My favourite partner in Resident Evil is... Um, Ada by far, man. She's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Especially in this game. Uh, right, let's pop these back. They don't do the full-size Coca-Colas in Tesco now because of the sugar tax where I live. Bastards, mate. Absolute bastards. I hate it. I hate the sugar tax. It's not helped anything. It just means I'll, I'll, I'll be more broke. <laughs> That's all it means to me. It doesn't bother me. Like, I don't care. I'll just get my fix. I'll just get my fix... Um, but I'll just pay more, you know, I don't care. Um, I used to love Green Monster, but it gave me major heartburn. Yep, I, th I think I can vouch for that as well, Bang Twang. Um, yeah, man, fucking Monster. Back in the day, like, Monster just used to wreck shit out of me. Like, I was getting into work and I was like, fucking hell, like, proper buzzing off my tits. Like, I was, couldn't, like, hold my hands still. <laughs> and now it seems to, like, have sorted its, have sorted its life, out, life out a little bit. Yeah, you're not wrong there, caffeinated junkie. You, have you got any of that? You got any of that caffeine stuff? <laughs> Gonna try and run past this dude. There's another dude just here. Oh yeah, done it. I really liked Sheva, to be honest. Just wish she didn't use every G and R herb mixes on every little scratch. Do you know what? I've got to be honest. I've never actually healed Sherry. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, sorry. I mean, do you know what? I'm really sorry, caffeinated junkie. I read that as Sherry, not Sheva. So I was like, how the fuck do you even heal Sherry? But yeah, I get what you're saying. You have to, I think, to enjoy Resident Evil 5, you have to play it with someone you know.
Whoa, where the fuck's he going? Oh, he's coming over. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, that's crazy. Uh, I wish Sheva wasn't annoying shit. You think Ashley's bad. I've never wanted to kill, his, kill a partner as much as Sheva. <laughs> yeah, man, she was rough. Oh, for sure. Me and my brother played for it. That was my introduction to RE. What, Resident Evil 5? That's really interesting, man. Like, I've never... I've never met a person, because for me, my first game was Resident Evil 2, I watched my parents play it, because I was only young, I was only like, but when, when this game came out, I was like three years old, so obviously I don't remember it much, but I do remember sitting, like four years old, watching my parents battle G in Scenario B, it was fucking, it was amazing. Um, but I would say, oh fuck, I've gone into the wrong door, um, I would say... I've never met someone who who kind of joined Resident Evil post Resident like I've not enjoyed the old games for example. But like, I've never met someone who's like, oh, I really like Resident Evil Five, and all the old games were dog shit. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's really interesting. That you started playing Resident Evil Three, sorry, Resident Evil Five, or and was introduced to Resident Evil that way because it was a complete ass over face way of doing it. Personally, mine was RE One, and do you know what I have? I have remember. I remember RE Two first, but I have. My, I do recall my parents, my uncles, all, they had a PS1, the slim one, and they was all playing Resident Evil 1, and like, was really scared in that, it was amazing. For some reason, when I typed my name, it changed to, it changed to Kinky. <laughs> Is that, Cooper, was that before or after your uncle touched her? Oh, I went there, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I was 11, my next one was 4, then 2, then Remaster. Yeah, I think Remaster, I played the last out of all of them. Aside from, obviously, the ones that come out super recent. Like, I remember playing Resident Evil 1 and going back to the remake and being like, whoa, this is so hard. <laughs> this is so much harder than I remember it. <laughs> During. <laughs> How does that... Oh, right, I was going to say, how, do, how does that work? All the zombies are gone. Oh, what? I thought I picked up the submachine gun. Apparently, I didn't. Idiot. Fucking forgot to pick it up. Oh, I tried to equip it and it weren't there. I'm going to try and use the submachine gun as much as possible because it's just one of them guns that you can just fucking piss your bullets away with and it's not it's not a big deal as can, to me it's a purely optional fucking gun in the game bye zombies god resi 1 was the first game I saw then 2 then 3 I think but oh for fuck's sake why is it so full Sorry, Matt, I'll read your comment out in a second. Oh, I can't even see, there's so many fucking zombies in here. Fucking hell, I couldn't see anything. That was insane. Fucking 84% already. Fucking executed him. Oh, why did I kill them? They're going to fucking respawn, didn't they? Just waste all that m fucking ammo. Oh, what? I'm such an idiot. Oh, nothing in any of them. Interesting. I like the machine gun. I just find it's very weak. It's very weak. Especially against living things. Reference to RE1 there, boys. God, Resi 1 was the first game I saw, then 2, then 3, I think, but RE stuck in my head more than the others. That's a fair statement. What do you do on your channel, Animated Junkie? First RE game I actually am was Survivor. Christ! You absolutely was wrongly introduced into RE. 
Uh, I do need to get the lighter, actually. I should have... Just go back and get it now. Oh, fucking techers, mate. Still love RE4. RE4 kind of ruined it for me. I wanted to feel scared, but Leon's lines are so cheesy and made him pretty. I was young. <laughs> I tell you what, the, the line about bingo gets me every time. Where's everybody gone? Bingo is like completely like immersion breaking. <laughs> Still love RE4. re 4 is a great game. I actually did a hand cannon only playthrough. Let's try that again without fucking losing my words. I actually did a hand cannon only playthrough of Resident Evil um, 4 on my channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's pretty cool. Oh, what am I doing? Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool game to be fair. Uh, pretty cool. Fucking hard. I, I do speed arts. I don't upload as much. I probably should go get so lazy. <laughs> some of these get some of these lines mate are horrific absolutely horrific oh fucking hell you cunt ah oh, scared the shit out of me Woo. christ fuck him i'm gonna leave him now piss me off completely forgot about him he wasn't even moving i couldn't even hear him he must have just been standing there, lot. Fucking scared the shit out of me. I'll tell you what, on hard mode of, of Resident Evil 2, you turn that on... And the, uh, you, you, you come into the room. Oh, is that? Nah, don't do first aid sprays. Um, you turn, you, you come into the room and there's a fucking liquor on the floor and you're like, really spins you out the first time you play it. Uh, we use, we use all these fucking submachine gun bullets. Hey. Here's our boy. Fucking hell, he's a bullet sponge, isn't he? Actually, weren't too bad. I only used 20% or something. Oh, who gives you fucking handgun bullets, tight bastard? I hope it gives me something decent when I fucking finish him off out here. I'll tell you what. I, used to, I remember when I first got Resident Evil 4 and I got it for the GameCube. When it was, like, exclusive. And I got New Speed Underground 2 for Fuzz of Us. And uh, I remember playing the, the beginning of it and just being, like... I got immediately killed by the chainsaw guy. And I was like, whoa, man, this game's so hard. There. Oh, wrong way. The problem is you can't. Fucking hell, he randomly turned behind. I've never seen that before. Thought he was come towards you. Give me something decent, you bastard. Bow gun bolts. Who the f I ain't gonna use them. Potato sack head. Yeah, man. Mate, I didn't know how good the knife was until I played Cl until I played Co Veronica, and realised, wow, man, the knife is just absolutely unreal. It's borderline overpowered in Co Veronica, I'd say. Uh, we got this way. Yeah, man. Desire. Desire, you're not wrong there. Scary as shit. Okay, 
we just got ruined this car. RE4 was stupid hard compared to RE5. Especially professional mode, but that's my opinion. Oh, I wouldn't say that caffeinated junkie. I think Resident Evil 5 had a harder, personally, obviously it's my opinion. Um, I think Resident Evil 5 had the slight edge, because as soon as you get hit on professional, you you go down to dying, and you've literally got one second to, to heal your partner, so you literally have to be stuck to your partner's ass. It's bullshit. And you can, I, I think you can only really do professional with infinite ammo. Because otherwise you just enjoy the re restart button. I've got one for you, boys. I've got one for you. What's the best save room music? Come on. Hmm, well, I had this issue last time. Uh, where's the crank? Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, what am I doing with my life? Right, yeah, sorry, we're putting this back. Got enough of that. No, no I know I'll probably be still on caution. Uh, that's really annoying. Uh, I can't remember where the crank was. I'm just thinking of it in my head. I always do this. This happens every time I play Resident Evil 2. Fuck. Are we back? Thank God someone said something. It, it always does this. Give it, are we back? We're getting, yeah, we're getting smooth KBS. Yep, yeah, cool, cool. I don't know why this does this. I've just moved into my new place. And um, for some reason, the internet, when I'm streaming, it just random, like OBS will randomly just die. Like, the, the kilobits a second to go down to zero, so I have to, like, reboot it. It's fucking stupid. But, we're back. <laughs> Mate, you are on it today. You are on it today. On a side note, boys, I can't remember where the crank is. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I don't know where the fuck it is. Actually, yeah, I do, yeah, I do. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Actually, no, it's not. It's not in there. Actually, I'll, I'll fucking I'll chuck this in while I'm here. I really can't remember where this fucking crank is, man. Ah, oh, this fucking savoury music keeps restarting. Do my head in. Oh well, oh yeah, about the savoury themes. Uh, Dino Crisis by far, by far, Dino Crisis is the best. Has the best savoury music. It's not even a Resident Evil game. It has the best savoury music. Uh, what, what am I doing with my life? Oh, yeah. The safe? What's that even mean? It's not in the safes. I'm just going to quickly chuck these back in. I really can't remember where the fucking crank is. I forget it every time I play Scenario B. Like, if you check my other playthrough, it's probably on there as well. Right, let's quickly whack this in. Yeah, man, Dino Crisis 2 is amazing. It's one of the better ones, I'd say. I don't think it's in there, Desire. It's not in here, is it? I'm probably just going to run up here. Oh, I'll tell you what. Sorry, boys. Uh... 
It's not in here, is it? Oh, that's fucking pistol bullets. Two. Oh. I can always forget this, man. Uh, the dock kennels. Claire B. What? No way. Not all the way down there, surely. I got to run all the way back down there, have I? Fucking hell. Oh, uh, looks like I've got to run all the way back down to the underground. Give me a second. Yeah, my internet does this thing uh, where basically I'll be playing and it's just randomly cut off. Like my OBS, like the OBS is still be running, but the kilobytes per second streaming, it just says zero and I'll be dropping like loads of frames. I don't know why it does that, it's a fucking joke, man. I, should, I really need to change internet providers. I just haven't, as you can imagine, haven't had a chance to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Just trying to. F On the floor next to the manhole. Why is it down there? That's bullshit. I know exactly where that is. Has anyone played RE Revelations 1? Yeah, yeah, I've played it. I've actually got it on Switch. And I've got to be honest, I was, um... I really hate the end boss. I really enjoyed Resident Evil Revelations 1, but I hated the end boss. I thought the end boss was absolute fucking dog shit. It was so cheap. It was cheaper than a Nemesis. I'm skeptical for 76, but I'll give it a shout. Fallout is one of my goats. Fallout's not a goat, is it? <laughs> nah, Fallout's unreal. Nothing touches for me. Uh, people say Fallout New Vegas is the best, but I think Fallout 3 far surpasses, for me anyway. And I didn't have aim down sights and all that. But it far surpassed the, uh, the PC version. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, and I twat. Oh, you fucking idiot. I thought it was another dude here. Yeah, the last, the last um, boss battle, Desire. Nani? What? Did I miss something? Oh, you're talking about me, my comments on Fallout 4? Fallout 4 was a bit of a letdown compared to... I think, yeah, but... Bang twang, just on that note... Fallout... Fallout 4 tried to be a bit mainstream, if you know what I mean? So, like, kind of bring Fallout into the mainstream. There we go. Fucking murder them. How are we doing for subs so far? Yeah, 39, 400. That's not too bad. I finally reached 400 the other day. I was well impressed. He's got no head. Uh, can we even go in here? I've never been down here as Claire on Scenario B. Oh, he's fucking dead already. Shit. He got ruined. Hey, taxidermy is not his hobby. My single solo Twitch viewer, give us a shout in the in the chat, my friend. I can't have you being out there by yourself and not giving us a shout. Giving us a shout in a uh, in the chat box, my friend. You're you're out there. You're you're flying solo. Give us a shout in the in the box, my friend. Ah, oh, it's a crank knife. Anything in here? I can't remember. Uh, two seconds. Yeah, it's locked.
How are we liking the uh, the purple costume? What do we think? Oh, fuck off. This game's bullshit. I hate it. <laughs> I've got one for you, boys. Has anyone played the, um... The, the Resident Evil Outbreak online, like the PS, excuse me, the PS2 emulator. Played it online with other people yet. Me and my brother got it set up and played for it. It's pretty cool actually. Honestly, since RE1, I've hated the dogs. Yeah, man, dogs are fucking annoying. I would say Resident Evil Outbreak has the total purest Resident Evil ex experience though. Like you get infected, you actually get infected and that's what pissed me off with Resident Evil. Is um, you can get bit by loads and loads of zombies. But it doesn't matter, you'll never get infected, you'll never turn into a zombie. You just fucking have some herbs, you know. Smoke some herb, you'll be fine. Right, uh... Oh, mate, I could probably kill the tyrant with a fucking bow gun. I might actually do that. I'll pop that back. I'm just going to run over and kill the tyrant with a... <laughs> right, I got my crank, got my cog, got my bow gun. I don't fucking like the bow gun. Oh shit! Forgot about these fucking jiggly puffs. Um, no, but I've been recently playing through File Two, and man, is that AR stupid? Yeah, man, you got to play it lone wolf, <laughs> or play it with your mates on uh, on out on uh, online. Oh, I've got to get past this fucking prick. Oh, I've just got to run it. Fuck it. Oh, you fucking bastard! Fuck off. He's coming. He's coming. Same education, fuck my sense of humor. I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. Does this work? Does it work with the dolphin emulator? Does what work with the dolphin emulator? Resident Evil 2. Like the GameCube version. Is that what you mean? Oh, I'll piss off. Oh, what am I doing? Forgot to put it in. Um, that big Gun Survivor 2 was online. I didn't even know it was co op. I heard the PS2 version of RE3 had different costumes for Jill compared to GameCube. Is that true? That is true. And it also has got a um, it's got a, a character select screen at the start of the game, so you don't even have to complete the game like however however many times however many times it is. 
outbreak, uh, caffeinated junkie. <laughs> oh, nice. It didn't actually take that long to kill. There's one in there that's. It's ba basically the Dreamcast one's got a. Uh, it's got an alternate costume to her original costume set where she's got like. Instead of wearing a white vest on top, she wears a blue vest. It's pretty cool. Is it blue? Is it white? I can't remember. Um, uh, I think that's it though, uh, Caffeinated Junkie. But the... Oh, fuck it. But the PC version... Uh, the Dreamcast version is just a port of the PC version. I'd definitely say Dreamcast version is the best port though. Like the Mercenaries is unlocked from the start. Oh! Oh! You got Rick then. Man, Mr. X is funny. Also, really hard at the end. I fucking hate going against Mr. X. Now I'm shooting through the herbs, aren't I? What is Sherry doing in it? Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Yeah, man, can't wait. Especially after I've seen there. some of them zombie Think scenes where he bites him okay? and all his jugular hangs out and that. It's really good. What do you mean, why am I running? What, from the liquor? Ah, oh, I always run from liquors. I rarely kill him, to be honest. Just waste ammo. Right, let's go fucking murder... Murder William. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Everyone's bad, gonna die. Girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen his little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, is it? Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. The ultimate bio-weapon. 
Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. What the? <laughs> I love this man. So brutal. And then this is this is just the cherry on top. <laughs> horrific. Just horrific. He's definitely dead, like it's not even like we can't even resuscitate him or anything. Can't even give him a herb for that. Or a first aid spray. Man is dead. But all of a sudden, like, William just disappears. I don't know what that's about. Here he is, our boy. Sherry. Loud boy. That was easy enough, wasn't it? I heard in N64 when Ada talks to Annette, the CG cutscene is Claire's voice instead of Ada. I think you're right there, Desire. Oh, I fucking missed them. I think you're right. Ten concurrent viewers. Thank you so much, guys. Really having a fun stream. Whoa, that was pixelated. Didn't they reuse that in Resident Evil 4? Sherry! Claire, you came back! I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. Why would she say that out loud? What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. What controller am I playing with? Well, it's funny you should ask, my friend. I'm using... Let me pause it. I'm using the Power A Nintendo Switch Crash Bandicoot Edition. Um, literally, the only reason why I bought this is, you know, like, how people come around and, you know, you want to play Switch with them. Well, I only had the Joy-Cons, the, like the standard set of Joy-Cons. So everyone needs that third-party controller. But I'll tell you what, mate, very good controller to have. And it's only about 25 quid, so definitely better than buying the Pro Controller at like 60 quid or whatever it is. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, I get what you're saying, guys, with the uh, Claire, but that's the only time in the game, that's the only time in the game that she does that, like she speaks to herself in her head, that's why it throws you off a little bit. Dude, Sherry's got to be like three foot tall. Yeah, man, she's fucking useless. And what's annoying is if you... You naturally run, obviously, faster than Sherry. And she just, if you get too far ahead of her, she just fucking gets stuck on everything. And she just sit on the floor like a dickhead and get thrown up on by zombies. Come on, let's get out of here.
scary. Oh mate, I hate it when she climbs boxes or stairs. Especially when she skips her leg and misses it. I'm like, oh, do you know what mate? Fuck off. How did Cherry not die from that as well? Hey, you were fucking funny at save point. Uh, we're actually good for everything, aren't we? Oh, those legs disappeared for a second there. I think there's some bullets in this uh, bag. Yeah. I must have about 200 fucking handgun bullets in a moment. Um, Right, we come through that door, yeah. Thing in here. No, nope. we don't want to use that. Well, I'm tired of using the. Uh, I definitely need that. Oh, Where'd I put it? Uh. All right, slightly overestimated that. Got 140. I never realised how, how much of a good game Resident Evil 2 was until I compared it to the first one. This is how you do a sequel. Yes, oh absolutely. But I think this is a, this is a time, I mean, Resident Evil, their quality control back then was so strong and strict that they actually, obviously you know about Resident Evil 1.5, I ain't going to patronise you guys you guys about Resident Evil 1.5. I'm sure you guys all know what, about what it is and stuff like that. Oh, I thought, I thought I needed the, uh... Oh, fuck. I thought I needed that, the, uh, lighter to get down here, but apparently not. Yeah, so, Resident Evil 1.5, it had a... Ooh, going rounds. Um... The quality assurance was so strict back then. Obviously, they they was not happy with they weren't happy with Resident Evil 1.5, so they got they got another game. So they made this one. Nowadays, you just wouldn't have that. They'll be so eager to push it out. Oh, not this way. They'll be so eager to kind of get the game out the door and don't even not even beta test it and launch fails and they got a big day one patch to fix it. You know how it is with new games. So definitely props, to, all in all, definitely props to Capcom for, uh, oh mate, I'm, <laughs> I hate the director's cut version. And that's not even the director's cut version, it's the director's cut jewel shop version. It wasn't on the original director's cut because I had the original director's cut and it didn't have any of that bullshit. It had the original decent soundtrack on it. Leon! Look, he's fucking doing a sherry, mate, sitting on the floor. You're bleeding. I, I, I ran into this woman who was in trouble. Her name's Ada. Ada? Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before, before something happens. But you've been shot. <laughs> I'll be okay. All right, fuck it, leave him. He's bleeding out. Ada, I'm worried about. Just give him herb. Give him herb. Fucking sniper. There's a fucking lone quick scoper out down here. Fucking 420 no scoped me. Ada? I 
Oh, 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 oh. That was an EX file. Orders for special agent. Oh, this is awesome. Orders for special agent hunks are as follows. Penetrate. Penetrate. Penetrate um, umbrella research facility located outside located outside of Raccoon City. Recover G-Virus G -virus sample from Dr. William Birkin. You're, you're authorised to use any means necessary to secure this sample. Upon recovery, the sample is to be delivered to Loire Village. Lawyer? Loire? I don't know. Failure on this mission is not an option. French Division. R&D Head Manager. Ah, the French Division. Because... The French division is where Claire goes in Co Veronica. Man, this is sick. That is why EX Files is the way to go. I, di I didn't actually want that though. I wanted, uh, yeah, I wanted them. And he fucked it then. This is also in Resident Evil 3, you still. <laughs> she got fucking bitch slapped over the side. Right? What happened? Get away from me. You just want my husband's clean sample, don't you? What? But no one will take that away from me. No one. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Huh? How did you? We don't have time for that. Sherry is lost somewhere in the sewer system. I have to find her. What? I told her to go to the police building. Why is she here? Now Sherry and the cheese apple are both in danger. Uh. She just like passed out. What did she mean by that? Does Sherry have the juice? <laughs> Sound a bit compressed there, uh, Annette. Annette is unconscious. Fucking hell, should we leave her there? Should we give her a herb? I oh, only got a herb to give her, sorry. <gasps> oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Always milk it, didn't they? Smash her over the head with it. <laughs> That'll wake her up. Right. Right. Cut the herbs here. I've probably got too many herbs now. But I'll pick them up anyway. Eleven concurrent viewers. Oh, I'm so I'm so chuffed with this, lads. Thank you so much, everyone who's tuned in. It just it seems to be concurrent. I'm not going to jinx it, but it seems to be pretty concurrent. Now, everyone, it's good vibes, man. Everyone's talking in the chat. Obviously, if you're not, if you're if you joined, and um, you're just watching, please get involved in the chat, man. We're we're having an absolute blast playing Resident Evil Two, shooting the shit, talking memories, talking everything. Get involved. Get involved. Oh, that was close, wasn't it?
I've ha always hated this. They take you back on a silly loop. And fun fact, those wee, those little fly things that jump down, they don't actually do any damage. They just piss you off. I actually had a, a damage count. I, I literally waited there for ages. And a little damage counter up on a previous stream, it literally did nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake, zombies. I see it that way, Carol, wouldn't it, caffeinated junkie? Oh, he got spat on then. I love it, everything freezes here, even the, the spider above us. Oh, I need to run into it. Oh, fucking need to go over on the sp spider mans then. Oh, yeah, we've got to call the train back, haven't we? Yeah. Obviously, she knew what to do. Did your mom give you something called G-Virus? Either a vial or a test tube? G-Virus? I've never heard of anything like that before. Are you absolutely sure? If you give it to me, I'll hold on to it for safekeeping. But I really don't have anything. It's the truth. But why would her mom say something like that? Wouldn't Sherry be like... Wouldn't Sherry be like, uh, what, where's my mum then? <laughs> um, my Twitch name is Mr. The Anderson. It's, it's actually exactly the same as, as YouTube, but uh, you can actually have names on YouTube, so I could have Mr. Anderson. But on, on uh, Twitch, it's Mr. The Anderson. Normally, this is where I'd let Ada take over so she can rinse everyone. But... I don't have that luxury. Oh, can we see that? Apparently, there's a rumour going around that um, Resident Evil 2 Remake has borrowed a lot of concept art from Resident Evil 1.5. I don't know if that's worth checking out, boys. Oh, for fuck's sake. Didn't even fucking equip it, whoops. Orion Sketch. Uh, Orion Sketches, thank you for the subscription, buddy. I'll take it. Did you subscribe or follow? It's not come up on my side yet. It'll probably update in a second, but really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, that was a Twitch follow. Yes, buddy. So I'm actually on 40 and 400. Wow, what time to be alive. Oh, that was you, caffeinated junkie. You had me on. You had me on a... Uh... Oh, come on, Sherry, you fucking arsehole. Come on. Look at that, 4,400. I'm, I'm so chuffed, boys. I really am. And we're up to 12 concurrent viewers. Love it. Living the dream at the moment. What an odd Sherry, thing to look around. Wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. Okay. 
I'll wait here, but hurry back. All right, sorry, sorry, Mum. You just fucking sit there and try and not shit yourself. But some 1.5 concepts have been put into the remake, such as the shutters instead of doors and body damage. Exactly, anime in that case. Oh, it was RE2 concept, oh, it wasn't 1.5. Sorry, I've just seen that comment. My bad. Today is a good day, mate. It is a fucking brilliant day. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to pick them up, don't I? Idiot. Oh, I can't pick that up. I don't know why it's like... What the... F there we go. I couldn't pick that up for some reason. Put some of this gear away. Tell you what, I'll put that away. Whack that away. We should be good. 401. Oh, what a time to be alive. Fucking another subscriber in, boys. For some reason, my alert didn't come up, but I'm still over the moon. Thank you so much. I almost thought that was one. Oh, yes, here. I did have a nice little custom RE2 subscription thing, but it hasn't come up. Oh, well. Oh, it's gone back down to 400. Someone subscribed and unsubscribed. Boo. That's all right. Maybe it count. Actually, maybe it counted wrong. Maybe it thought there was a hundred four hundred, but it was actually four hundred one. Uh, sorry, four hundred one, but it was four hundred or something like that. Wait, no way. Is that another one? Another EX file here, boys. Have you really? Anime outcast. Right, so this is the want ad. New positions available. Umbrella Inc. branch full... Raccoon branch full time. As the number one pharmaceutical corporation in the world, we are, con we are constantly reaching for new ways to expand and grow. What we're looking for? We're looking for healthy, dedicated and single individuals of any race, religion or sex. Positions available. Sales, service, production, ETC. Requirements. No experience needed, but you must have a clean bill of health. Overseas positions are also available. Please note this on your application. Interesting. Have a little uh, quirk of the N64 version coming in. That's what I was after. Oh fuck, he's there. Oh, you fucking bastard. Fuck off. Oh, he's dead already. When I start streaming, I want to set up level tune from Dragon Quest from my subscriber sound. You can do that. You can do that indeed. Yeah, it does kind of remind us of Survivor, doesn't it? What do you mean you're a chump? How do we put it in? Do we put it in like a key? Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, Sherry. Let's go. Let's go, Sherry. I should be fine, but I'll take this health anyway. Oh, all right, fair enough. Oh, come on, Sherry, you little fuck shit. Come on. Got fucking things to do, got people to see.
How long have you been subscribed for, Caffeinated Junkie? Who's art style? Who are you talking about, anime nutcase? Oh, fair enough, caffeinated junkie. I've seen you quite a few times in my streams, to be fair. Admittedly, I used to... I've recently moved out with my girlfriend for a couple of months now, so... Before, I only used to really stream like once a month, not even that, so... So now I'm actually, you know, streaming a lot more. Um, I'll probably stream every other day now, so you can you definitely you can definitely tell because the view accounts gone up, subscriptions have gone up. So Bastard. Where are you? Whoa. Back here now. He's going for it, isn't he? Oh fuck, get up. Not good boys. Awesome. Oh we had to use that healing arm, that was a bit That was a bit shitty, but it's what it is. I'll, I'll make a I'll make a point of checking both your channels out because it seems like you guys have, have got some good content. So I'll, I'll make a point of having a gander. Isn't this? That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Wait here for me, that. okay? I'm going back to look for your mom. Thanks, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me because of their work. Why has she chose now to but tell us about her life story? Me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Sherry. Bearing in mind, they've only actually really, I mean, game time, they've probably known each other for about two and a half hours now. But apparently, like, she's her mum now. What's all that about? And this is funny. N knowing that you've left Sherry where she you've left her, let's go for a really small hole that you can't get back out of. Uh, RE2 Birkin for sure. Although I do like the I do like the RE one sound. Where he's like Sherry, Sherry. Well, I'm just gonna quickly get a drink and have a piss because I've been fucking dying for ages. Sorry lads. Give me Uno Memento.
Oh, that doesn't count to my in-game time. Also, my girlfriend's asleep and I've just found these like gummy sweet things, so I'm going to eat them now and hope she doesn't realise I've eaten them. They're the ones sort of vinegar chip sticks. I love them. Quality. Some bits and pit. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sounds like the old bills outside. Oh, don't want that. There is actually a typewriter there as well. What was that anime in that case? Eat at the same time. <laughs> oh, shit. So, flame rounds aren't really that good against liquors. Left you saying else. Well, I can't remember that case. Sorry, mate. It's all right, anime in that case. To be fair, I, I I really only get like maybe three or four, so this is an absolute blessing for me. I'm enjoying every second of it. And this is the one thing that pisses me off with um with Resident Evil uh, Two is that you've got to go and redo the uh, 
the electric turn it on when really it should already be on. Back up to 10. <laughs> right. I I've always loved this animation. Red Lab OST gives me chills. We're going to check it out in a sec. Oh, lab car key, nice. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. Well, caffeinated junkie, really appreciate you taking the time to uh, check the channel out again and, and having you aboard on the the ship of Mr. Anderson. And uh, yeah, man, have a good night. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as, uh, much as I have. I'm just thinking, now I've got that... I can actually just walk over to the other side. I don't actually. I don't think you get anything out of it, do you? I really can't remember. We're gonna go over there. I did try and dodge that. I actually don't think there's anything in here worth noting. Mate. Oh shit. Oops. What happened there? Uh, sorry. Paused. Uh, CPU pause, resume. Woo! That's scary. Right, so really, we don't really need that. I don't know why I, don't know why I bought it, because it's only for some grenade rounds. I was well scared then, I thought the game crashed, because it does, it does do this. quite a temperamental part of the game like you'll just be playing and the game would just be like like the music is still be playing 
But no one's home, it's fucking annoying as shit. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, fucking hell. I must have killed them both. There is some herbs out here, so I'll just quickly kill this uh, being out here. Should be five of one, to be honest. Actually, I'll take the other one, because there are liquors below us. Fucking egg in here. Look at that little egg. Ah, oh, what? Oh, fuck off. Nope. Can't deal with that, can we? To be fair, I could probably finish the, finish the game with the guns I got in my, in my arsenal. Oops. Shit, there's quite a few in here. How would you know that just by looking at it? Looking at machine. Oh, EX file. Yes, mother virus report. Let's see. Uh, abused his power and had to be fired. Following Dr. Marcus. From Dr. Mm -hmm. Currently research on the mother virus. I've just realised my cursor's been on the screen. Uh, it's presumed that we'll be finishing work on a more powerful duo of virus and currently researching the mother virus. It takes place at a lab all over the world. In any future, we hope to discover many new viruses. Scary stuff. Last push to the end, boys.
And next. Where's Sherry? But I asked her, and she's never even heard of the G-Virus before. Which room? Tell me. Sherry! No! And next. The samples inside the pendant Sherry's wearing. I suppose it's quite good that you're working together, isn't ya? Like, she doesn't really come across as, like, antagonistic like she does in... Compressed and Annette has returned. <laughs> We need to get the fuck out of here. What's up with the unrendered ladder? That's on the original as well. I've played the original N64 version and that's on there too. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm paying attention. You bastard. Yes, at least we can get into this room. Oh, oh yeah. It's pretty sad to think, actually, that that Sherry got completely, um, completely orphaned by what happened at Raccoon City. Obviously, her dad died when he got shot and then injected himself. And obviously, Annette, Annette had her own problems, and she died. I can't remember how she dies in Scenario B. We'll probably see in a sec. Go. Sherry, help me, Claire. <laughs> the monster's after your pendant. Throw it to me. Sick throw by Sherry. Good girl. Now run, Sherry. As for you, come and get it. I've got what you want. Come on! Here. This is what you're looking for, right? Fine. Then go get it! Poor Mr. Sucker. X. Better proceed to the bottom platform, lads. Scary shit. So 
So did he have like fake fists on? Jerry, where are you? Where is she? Shit, yeah, we need the master key, don't we? Isn't Cherry in here? I'm sure she was in here. Actually, I was meant to pick up a key, wasn't I? I'm sure I was meant to pick up a master key. Oh shit, maybe it is that way. I've never seen that cutscene before, that was pretty interesting. Oh yeah, she gets shot, didn't she? mother but I still love you forgive me <laughs> Mom! sad times Sherry we have to go now Oh, she's got the power. Give me the key. Give me the fucking key. Ah, she didn't even. Her fever has subsided. She is resting as though sleep. <laughs> like her, she's like she cried a little bit, and now she was like, "Okay, <laughs> let's go." She puzzles me, old Sherry. Hey, Cooper, how's it going? Now you wait here, okay? I'll go and get this thing moving. Right, so... I'll grab another...
Oh no, I need to go that way because you got the key to the key to the door. Ah, that's good, man. Good to hear. Need you to get a road mic, not a road mic, a blue yeti ASAP. Because that is going to be sick. I'm, I've got good vibes. Ministry of Smartness is coming back with a bang. Only if you're up for it, of course. detonation. Let's quickly grab these plugs. It's not, is it? Like Resident Evil has a set of tropes now that they kind of always stick to, and the main one is um, it's always like a it's always a ship or something like that in a Resident Evil game, and the self-destruct system. If there ain't a self-destruct system, game's pointless. I still think this game just looks good. If you know what I mean, it doesn't look. I know it's aged a little bit, but. Overall, it just it still looks great. Here we fucking go, boys. Also, love this reveal. Look at this bastard. It's going to be glorious when we see him again in Remake. Oh, you fucking idiot. In two minutes, two acid rounds. Who are you? <laughs> you lose, big guy. Two acid rounds, really. He got he, he he wasn't feeling too good. He was like, Claire, I'm not feeling too good, and he got fucking blown up. Gutted. Uh yeah, I need these, don't I? Oh yeah, no, we can go now, can't we? What the fuck? I can't believe that took two acid rounds. Fucking got ruined. Head off. Here we go, boys.
Can't believe that. Fucking two acid rounds. Two. I expected at least like five or six. Look at that. State of this cutscene. Obviously it is the N64, so you have to have a little bit of respect. This is just the beginning. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Ah, my God has protected you. It will always be with you. Claire. Sherry. Let's get this done, boys. Final push for the rest of the game. What was that? Warning, biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. No! What's wrong with this thing? I don't know. The door won't open. Go boys, final fight. Smash him with some acid rounds. And there we go, boys. I did take quite a few acid rounds, to be fair. Unnecessarily shadow. Claire, where are you? You don't get up, do you? Sherry, what are you doing? We have to stop the train, right? I can do it. Sherry, persistent, aren't you? 
How did he get underneath? Oh, the big red one. Just a just a bandage. That was a close one. That was pretty impressive back there, Sherry. It was nothing. I saw someone do that on TV once. Come on. We've gotta move out. Now what's the problem? Something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. Let's go. Go? Oh, you can't mean. Chris, I have to find you. Awesome. Just an awesome game. I've got to fucking sit and watch all this to find out my grade. Yeah, man. Don't worry boys, this happened last time. Basically the game doesn't catch up. There you go. So the music will play, then it'll play that note that everyone knows from Resident Evil, the credits, where you go do 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 and then it and then it'll just show my grade afterwards. It did this in uh, the N64 version. Uh, the Leon A, sorry. But yeah, I hope I really hope you enjoyed that playthrough, guys. It was a it was a well, it took me a good three hours to finish it. Now I've got to admit, Leon the Leon the B scenarios are definitely better than the A scenarios, and it does make me think: uh, Are they going to have A scenarios and B scenarios in the new Resident Evil? Are they going to are they going to call it quits and just have one character line? That's it. Maybe they just do Claire Ray and Leon B, or vice versa. It does make you think, like, what they're going to have in this new Resident Evil. It's so much, so many factoids we still need to find out. Aha! Here we go. What do we get then, boys? I'm hoping it's something good. Yes! So, 2 hours 29, A rank, Claire B, no saves. I am chuffed with that. That's not an emulation thing. That happens on the real console as well with the blue background. No idea why it does that, but yeah, I am chuffed. Will it let me skip it? There we go. Your reward. You receive less points by using a special weapon. Check item box. Okay, so we've got the Gatling gun. I actually hate the Gatling gun, it's so slow. And we'll just pop that in there like that. And then the next two down should be uh, Leon B and Claire A. Hey, we've unlocked Hunk as well. You can play another scenario if you make a new save data. Okay. Okay. There we go. Make a new save data. I think this is where it tells you about Brad, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. Have I unlocked the uh, randomizer yet? Oh, yes. Yes, we have. Well, next playthrough, guys.